it gives me great pleasure to introduce Dr. Zara Lee. But first, let me kick off things here. This is the ninth annual Candy Drive. It's amazing that this tradition has been nine years running, and every year, this pile of candy seems to get larger and larger. As the only non-dentist in the family, I'm, I'm actually fairly qualified to say that that's a lot of candy. So without further ado, please help me in welcoming my sister, Dr. Zara Ali. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for being here today. Uh, my name is Dr. Zara Ali, and I inherited this Candy Drive initiative from my parents, Drs. Femina and Ajaz Ali, the co-founders of Walsley Dental Group. Um, it's, we really can't believe just how much candy and support um, we received from the community this year. Every year, like my brother said, it just gets bigger and bigger, and this year is no exception. Um, as dentists, our number one priority has always been and always will be to maintain the health and well-being of our patients. Uh, it was that goal my parents had in mind when they began this candy drive nine years ago. Their hope was to prevent some cavities for their, from their, for their younger patients who might overindulge in some of this Halloween candy. And they began to think, well, who would benefit from all of this candy that we're collecting? Um, well, it was right in time for Veterans Day, and so they, they wanted to give something back to those who protect our freedom every day. And their hope was that the sweets would bring a little taste of home to the troops overseas. This seed was planted over nine years ago, and the results are before us today. I am so proud of my parents, and more importantly, for all of you who have helped us make this such a success and continue this endeavor um, to really be a part of the community that in which we live and in which we serve. This year, your hard work has resulted in us collecting over 8,600 pounds of candy. Uh, we had, let's see, over 39 different schools participating from over 15 towns. And so really, a really great turnout, great commitment, great support, great participation. Um, a huge thank you to everyone, um, especially our team at Wellesley Dental Group. They were tireless in putting this all together. Uh, we were here at 6 a.m., you know, kind of moving boxes around. So thank you to them, and uh, thank you to my parents as well for starting this and for letting me kind of run with it. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Next up, I'd like to introduce someone who I've known for many years. In high school, he used to call me into his office because I got in trouble a lot. Today, he is the principal of the Wellesley High School and a great mentor to all of his students. He's also a Townsman 10 in 2014 for his dire commitment to his students. Please help me in welcoming Dr. Jamie Chisholm. Thank you. That was very nice. On yeah, I'm I'm proud to have known the Ali's family for many years now. I don't know, ten years or so, anyway. Um, and it's nice to be here. Um, I'm speaking on behalf of Dr. Lucia, who could not be here today. Um, but uh, to our friends from outside of Wellesley, I know we have some friends from Westwood here, um, and and I know some other towns as well. Welcome to Wellesley. I'm glad to have you here. Glad to have you be a part of this. This is really neat. And um, I have to say that uh, not only the younger patients benefit from this candy not being in the house, as a father of three young kids, I benefit from not having this, all this candy in my house, and my teeth do too. Um, and I do also have to say that the elementary schools do a much better job of collecting candy than the high school students for some reason. Um, I, I don't know if, the, yes, my friend over here. Um, I don't know if that's because uh, the kids collect more candy or the high school kids uh, hold on to their candy more. I, I'm not 100% sure, but we're really proud to be a part of this, um, this community event. Um, I, and I can't describe it any better than it's already been described to, to, to take this candy and give it to our veterans. Um, and, and in this moment, to be able to do something that pulls this, um, this community, this country together, I think is really important. So I'm really happy this year in particular to be a part of something that's uh, maybe healing and bringing us uh, together rather than another direction. So um, thank you all for being here. Next, I would like to introduce our state representative, who probably doesn't even need an introduction. She serves as the House Chair 
on the Joint Committee on Education, and she's always been a true champion for our community and a fierce advocate for our students. Please help me in welcoming Representative Alice Peich. Thank, thank you very much. Um, I think most of what uh, needs to be said has been said. I'd just like to underscore a few points that I think are of uh, critical importance, uh, particularly uh, today. A and that is um, the uh, history that the Ali family has of being significant contributors to our community. Uh, their first uh, generation uh, immigrants and to come to this country and as immigrants understand uh, what a wonderful country it is and to integrate themselves into the community. And this is just one of many community-based um, activities that they support. I have had many interactions with them over the years, and I'm very appreciative of all of the work that they do. And I think this event in particular is terrific because it not only does it bring together um, people from the surrounding communities and then connect the communities uh, to the troops, but I understand that one of the uh, uses that the candy actually serves when the troops receive it, is that they, in turn, obviously will consume some of it, but also uh, they use it to uh, foster relationships uh, with the people in the countries that they are serving in. And I think, uh, just in general, that concept that we here are helping our troops to foster stronger relationships uh, with people around the world, and as Dr. Chisholm said, bring us all together. I think this is just a terrific event, and I want to thank the entire family and, and uh, the, the parents for starting this tradition and the uh, and the kids for taking it over. I can't believe that you are now. I, mean, I remember them when they were much smaller. So uh, the, the fact that one of, one of you is actually in the practice now, I think, is terrific. So thank you all very much for being here and contributing uh, to this uh, terrific event. At this time, I'd like to take a brief pause to introduce Evan, Evan LeRiviere, who is probably America's next idol. <laughs> he will be singing the national anthem in honor of Veterans Day. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the So gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say. introduce Jordan Rich, the radio talk show host at WZ, WBZ, whose voice many of you probably know very well. He will be introducing this year's Candy Drive winner. Thank you so much. Before I do that, I just took a phone call from John Henry at the Red Sox. Evan, what are you doing next uh, April? And we'd like you guys to join him. If, if anything, it just restores our faith that everything's going to be okay with Evan and you guys and everybody here doing such a beautiful job. And before we announce the winner, I, I can't help myself because I'm a very bad punster. I was thinking about things like Reese's Peace on Earth and Goodwill Towards All, and that's nothing to snicker at. Okay, enough of the jokes. Now to announce the winner, and, and in, in a trite way, you're all winners. I'm not going to, you hear that all the time, but in this case, one group went out of their way to be sweet with a capital S 
And it's my pleasure to, uh, do we have a, a special check presentation of some kind? I think we do. It's my pleasure to announce, and it took a lot of heavy lifting, but they did it, the Sprague School. How about that, huh? From the smallest and the tiniest and the most wonderfully beautiful, we have winners. So come on up here, guys, because they're going to be on camera and all that. Turn around. Look at this. Looks like the MTV Awards here. Look at this. Isn't she adorable? So you guys are going to get, as a, uh, a little thank you, uh, a special check. Here it comes. It's so special that, you know, the dentist was minting it. Okay, and this check, I believe, is for a few, a few pennies here. Wow, $1,000 to the Sprague School. Woohoo! You guys can hold it. There you go. Congratulations. And on behalf of those of us who blab for a living and need our teeth for TV, but not radio, I want to say thank you to all of you guys and, and all of the schools in Wellesley. Wellesley's a great community. Coming together like this is really terrific. So I think not only applause for these guys, but for everybody in the town and for this wonderful dental practice for doing a great job for our troops. Let's hear it for them. Yes. We have a, a very important message from one of the winners. In your face, Honeywell. Good to know that competition is alive and well. The refreshments to my left and to your right, please feel free to help yourselves and, and thank you all for coming today.